Because you have some pretty rowdy schemes of getting money. Some of them, which yeah. won't be talked about. But, like, <laughs> you have some pretty, like, rowdy, like, outside of the box thinking of, like, yeah. It's on some, like, some of the ways that you get money remind me of, like, um, hey, you want to come on my show? Like, hey, hey, uh, Bill Gates, you want to come on my show? He's like, nah. And I'm like, oh, well, Obama's coming on my show. Okay, I'll come. Hey, Obama, you want to come on my show? Nah. Oh, well, Bill Gates come on my show. <laughs> All right, I come. And then they both come. Exactly. Like, that's how you, I've seen you exactly. do some stuff like that. Because our perspective, everything is a is a how you perceive it. You know what I mean? And I think understanding how much you can control mm -hmm. with the perspective, you know, and it can be damaging too. Like a lot of like the biggest artists and the biggest influencers, mm -hmm. they're, they're putting bad shit out in the world, bro. Mm -hmm. And I think like, being at that level, and, and not saying anyone I work with did that, but I'm saying just seeing how like it's systematized, you know what I mean? It could start as this one spurt of a good idea from someone, right? And then this person touches it, and yeah. this person. This person makes it more sellable. This person makes it so it catches your attention more. Yeah. This person makes it so that it fucking, you, you think about it all day. You know, and you're like, mm. what the fuck? Mm. And then you're like, okay, like... Well, how about let me just do it my own way, like, and do some cool shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Let me, like, make people's day and make them feel good and fucking believe in themselves and, like, get paid for it and teach other people how to get paid for bro, it. 100%. <laughs> like, a lot of the time, bro, like, all these mainstream artists, they, like you said, there's so many people. It's, like, psychological warfare. Like, they have these teams that it's not just as simple as, like, rapping and producing and, you know, like, getting it out there. It's, like, a whole fucking, like, they have a big responsibility because millions and millions of people are listening to this so mm -hmm. if they have a certain like plan or goal in mind bro they can like fuck with that shit to the point where yeah. people are like not even themselves you know like, and then it, and, but then you have to understand too like when you see how like the industry works you know like yeah. these people don't get paid unless they put out x amount of you know when they mm -hmm. get paid it's a loan it's like hey mm -hmm. here's two million but you owe us two million off your stream so Drop two albums and hopefully you get that two million back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like <laughs> from there, they have their nuts in their hands until yeah. they have that two million back. Most people you know? Are willing so to let's do say you, they can. you fucking bought a couple cars in a house and now your mom has fucking terminal cancer and her bills are ten bands a day. You know what I mean? You better fucking hit that two million quick so you can drop another album. It's like even seeing people in those positions, I'm like, bro, I'm never gonna I don't have to learn this mistake, you know? Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of shit. I don't have to do any of that. Yeah. I'm about to be rich as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, and not even in a cocky way, just like, yeah, bro, yeah. me and everyone I know is going to have all the tools they need. Yeah. In terms of you and everyone you know, blah, 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 Rich, who taught you how to video edit? Who taught you how to make your own brand? I, I know the answer. The answer is nobody, right? Uh, no, I'm not going to lie. I can't say that. A lot. A lot of... Oh, really? A lot of nobodies. But, like, a lot... Uh, not nobodies, but... A lot of not having anyone and just on the internet, like, yeah, fucking, like... You kind of taught yourself more or less. I taught myself, but it was from other people doing it, you yeah. know? Like, I wouldn't be able to to do it if, like... Like, even... I'm, I think about, like, okay, growing up, all I did was watch TV, you know? And, like, all my older cousins, they wouldn't let me watch fucking, like, like the cartoons and mm -hmm. shit they would put on, like, MTV. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing, like, Rob Dyrdek all day, Viva La Bam, fucking Jackass, <laughs> like even joe rogan on fear factor i'm seeing all these like people and like and then you see like rob dyrdek like he's like wearing dcs and he's like, oh he's getting paid for that and he's like skating an alien workshop brand mm -hmm. and he owns that and then you're like oh and then monster and then you start to like mm -hmm. i think all of those influences and then just like working at like just being a broke ass kid walking around the neighborhood every day like i stumbled on the skate shop yeah. you know and they like they showed hella love to me and like you know, gave me my first board for free, gave me everything. So it's like a lot of these just things that just tapped into my life, you know, like wh wherever you get love, that's where you're going to try to find love. You know what I mean? So like a lot of the, a lot of kids, it's the streets, you know what I mean? And like for me, I was just as open to that, but it was like I, I was able to curve it in a way, you know, like I didn't have to sell drugs because I could shoot videos, you know? I could still be with everyone that yeah. sold drugs and get the thrill and the fucking, like, you know, really fucking, like, like I felt like that's who I identified with, you mm -hmm. know? Because I grew up in a white family, like a, a white home, like, in a, a white neighborhood, and then I'm like, I go to this school with a bunch of black kids, I'm like, bro, what the fuck's going on? Like, how come I'm not like these kids, you know? Mm -hmm. And then so it's like when I got older, I was like, damn, I feel more... Like, with this crowd. Mm -hmm. And then my mom's like, oh, I don't want you with all these, like, killers and gangbang. You know, she's on her, like, oh, she has a whole different world that she's coming from, you know? Mm -hmm. She's trying to protect me. So, like, it was a lot of just, like, trying to find myself in that shit. Mm -hmm. And I think that's 
that's what like you know i took the love from the skateboarding community and like the loyalty and the respect from the streets and like the the hustle mentality you know and then just like the fucking like people in worcester that just work hard and don't complain about it they just get it done yeah. like it's a lot of shit i feel like just that just rubbed off